when people sing happy birthday to you what are you supposed to do? I just admire the candles. I imagine putting them in my butt. Lit or not lit. I see you are a man of philosophy. I think he is a man of literature. I do what my funeral director Kawaka once told me when family members start crying. Find a crack in the wall and stare at it. You'll sing happy birthday during a funeral? You don't? Well I haven't died yet so I wouldn't know. Definitely asking for this to have this done at my funeral. Also a big buffet around me. Who wouldn't love seeing how creeped out everyone gets wondering if they look like a jerk for not eating. Pick the person you know the least and stare directly into their eyes until it's over. Don't forget to whisper the lyrics to yourself. At a second delay. This is fucking harrowing. This reminds me of salad fingers. Reenact your birth through interpretive dance. I'm getting strong Gina Lanetti vibes from this one. I just found out that the actress has been dating Jordan Peeler since 2016 and they have a child. That child will either be humorless or the greatest comedian of the human race. Till Jordan Peele is dating Jenna Linetti. And her name is Chelsea Peretti in real life. I absolutely love all of it BTW. End it with 5 minutes axe solo. Epic sax guy is always an appropriate answer. Dresses into full gold morph suit and pull out a sax as fear singing. Comments is sax solo after song. I just realized you guys were saying sax. Username checks out. Conduct the choir with your hands. Did this with a fork when I was 6. Best decision of my life. It's all downhill from here. I've wondered about this phrase. Is that good or bad? Downhill implies decline. Which is bad. I suppose. But it can also mean it's easier. Fuck man never thought about it that way. You enlightened me. Headbang that way they have to sing it louder and heavier making everyone feel awkward. Yell let's get this fucking circle pit going. I've done this a few times at concerts. Always makes me feel a little giddy. I made this hole and now people are flailing around in it. Feel like a proud father. I once started the most perfectly timed chant of Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang. At a Wu-Tang show. It was glorious. The last opener set had ended and everyone was waiting for them to come out. Like 15 to 20 minutes had passed. Still nothing. Just a DJ playing random music to keep the crowd hype. I started chanting and the whole crowd joined in and it finally came to an epic crescendo of chanting and Wu-Tang hit the stage and ripped into damn history of just boxing. I now put that shit on my resume. You summoned Wu-Tang are you a wizard? Tell them your birthday is tomorrow. I will remember to do this next time. Even better. Tell them your birthday was yesterday. Sorry guys. My birthday was last year. Apostrophe. Guys. My birthday was two months ago. Remember? You all went to James pool party instead. Apostrophe. Just smile and wave. Boys. Smile and wave. Alternatively. Stand up straight. Blank face. Stare them deeply in the eyes. And make them feel your judgment without moving a muscle. This reminds me when I worked as a teaching assistant at a mainstream primary school. There was a kid with learning needs who began to scream happy birthday at the top of his lungs for this girl's birthday at the end of the day. Everyone in the class was singing too. He just went overboard for whatever reason. He then proceeded to jump out of his table stand up straight. Blank faced and saluted the class and just stood for about 15 over 20 seconds while the class finished singing and cheering for the girl. It was honestly one of the funniest and adorable things I witnessed as a T.A. And I had to hold back from crying with laughter in front of the kids. Miss that child. I hope he prospers. Stutter while saying you too. Getting an Uber to the airport driver. Have a good flight. Me. Thanks. You too. Still haunts me to this day. That's at least so close together your brain is already processing him saying. Have a nice day people have fucked up worse. If that's haunting you. Cherish it for being so harmless. P. Yeah. You could accidentally address your first grade teacher as mom. Regret. I've done this to my wife a few times. Just stand there and feel really awkward. I do that well. Me too. OMG. I found something I do well. So. What you're saying then. Is you're a success. Once a year. 
but still a success. AWW that's a really nice way of thinking about it. You just made me smile. Walk away AA. God I miss vines. Came here for funny comments. Now I cry. Friends family. Happy birthday to you oh 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 oh. Me. To me. Friends family. Happy birthday to you oh 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 oh. Me. To me. Friends and family. Happy birthday. Dear. My name. Me. In a whisper. That's me. Friends and family. H A P P P Y birthday. To. Y O O O O U. I bo. That's me. He who is not me. You get any good frog PMs lately? Colon close bracket. A few toads. Minimal frogs. Colon open bracket. Flying drop kick to the chest. Well. That escalated quickly. I hate my birthday. I Sing with them. And then boom loudly over them in end with happy birthday t o o o o m e e Go full Michael Scott on them bitches. Skip around the room. Creed starts skipping around the room. Smile and be awkward. Happy cake day to you. Happy cake day to yo o o o o Grins a 50% authentic smile from ear to ear and claps my hands rapidly to show my appreciation of your turning of Ajax. Turn very very red. I don't like it when that happens. Coming from someone who is constantly turning red and not like a cute red just in the cheeks. Like a blotchy flush creeping up the neck and from the sides of my temples. From anger. Embarrassment. Birthday songs. Being in a warm room. Or drinking one alcohols. You just accept that's what happens and ya keep on keeping on. It took me a while to get there. But it's quite freeing now. Smile awkwardly and say thanks. Blow the candles? Take a few shots in the meantime. Who are the candles? Bit of a weird last name, if you ask me. Take your up vote and be gone. You wiggle and clap. Clap that ass. That escalated quickly. From 0 to 100 real fucking quick. Emphasis on fucking. I guess clap along in a very awkward way with a panicked face. At least that's what I always do. As long as you're off beat. As a kid, around 6 or 7, I once cried as they sang and begged them all to stop. My parents sent me to my room and cancelled the rest of my birthday. No cake. No presents. Everyone who showed up got cake and was told to take their present back as I didn't deserve it. Now I hold my emotions in because if I don't I'm afraid someone will punish me for it. Edit. Thanks guys. Being raised slash traumatized by a narcissistic redneck mathematician gave me so much material to work with I could have been a very dark comedian. Maybe someday. Your parents were dicks. Obviously you were overwhelmed and just needed a brief break from so much activity and noise. Will you be my mom or dad? Not even picky. Heck yes. I mean. Why not? If you need someone to tell you that you are ad and the very best, I'm here for it and you. The other day I noticed that my 5 year old has the exact same emotional reactions as me, but very much on the outside. The stuff that makes me well up. Makes him sob. I thought back to when I was little and wondered why my stuff would stay in instead of bursting out. Then I remembered that when I was a child, I did not feel safe to share my genuine reactions. I certainly would not have been heard or validated. This was the first time I realized I'm a good parent. At least, I'm doing this one part right. I'm breaking a big part of the cycle that was passed to my mother from her angry and alcoholic parents. I will keep up the hard work. And I'm sure I will fuck up a lot too. But my kids will know themselves. And the world around them will know them too. As they truly are. They will know how to use their feelings to navigate through their lives. Damn it. If you ever need anyone to cancel out any unkind narrative that may run through your head. Hit me up. I can also use all the swears on anyone that makes you feel like you must hide your authentic self or emotions. Take care of yourself. Reddit child. In case someone forgot to tell you. You are precious. You are enough. You are safe here. You are heard. You are loved. So wholesome. You are doing an awesome job and your child is lucky to have you as a parent. Pee on them to show dominance. Whoa back up mate we don't wanna die. This is your first post. Oh. Oh. I kinda just look at memes. Priorities. 
smile politely and blow out the candles, if provided. Then remind them that your birthday was last month and you spent it alone. Eating ramen and binge watching monster girl Hari Manim. I'm in it and I don't like it. Wave your two pointing fingers like a conductor. Sit there and take it. Let the knowledge wash over you that they hate singing it as much as you hate hearing it. What is a birthday anyway? Besides some map showing the path you took from birth to death. All life is pointless and everyone is just wasting time before the inevitable. Infinite void. Well that was nihilistic. Why isn't there an unexpectedly nihilistic subreddit yet? We have a few weeks till the end of the year. We may have peaked boys and girls. Say your birthday is cancelled and will be back next year. Tell them to sdf you and that it's not your birthday at work. I change my birthday routinely. As we get close to my birthday, I put it 6 more months out. When get close to that date, I move it back. Kind of dicky. But I don't want the attention. It is now a running joke in the office. When the hell is his birthday? Anyway. So when is your birthday? Summer. Ash. June. I smell deceit. He meant December. Ash. Winter. Sit around and smile like an idiot. I think it makes them feel good. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.